Western Slope. I'm now joined by Dr. Courtney Fulton with Surgical Associates of the Grand Valley to talk Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Dr. Fulton, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. So when it comes to breast cancer, can you talk a little bit about the risk factors that might contribute to that? Absolutely. Uh, the biggest risk factors are one, being born a woman, and two, getting older. Okay. And then three would be any significant family history that person might have in regards to breast or some other cancers like ovarian. Got it. And are there any, I guess, lifestyle choices that might contribute to breast cancer at all? Or is it mainly just, I guess, age and, and, and sex or whatever that might be? Yes, absolutely. Um, by and large, those are the things that, um, you know, we can't change, but there are certain things that we can do to make our risk lower. Um, you know, maintaining a healthy body weight, eating, you know, a low processed food diet, so lots of vegetables, and limiting alcohol consumption would be kind of the biggest things. Okay, got it. And now, if someone was maybe concerned about breast cancer, are there symptoms that might show up that might tell somebody that they might need to get checked out, something like that? Absolutely. So. Lumps in the breast being the far and away the most common symptom, but there can also be lumps in the armpit or skin changes. So redness of the breast, dimpling of the breast, and certain changes of the nipple like nipple discharge or a rash on the nipple, all those things can be concerning and need to be worked up with imaging. Got it. And so mammograms can help save lives when it comes to breast cancer. Can you talk a little bit about what that process looks like over there at Community Hospital? Yeah, so we recommend that starting at the age of 40, every woman gets a mammogram once a year. Okay. It's really quick, really easy. The technology is so much better than it used to be. Um, basically, most insurances will fully cover screening for asymptomatic patients over the age of 40. Okay. And so talk to your insurance company. You can schedule by going to our website at yourcommunityhospital.com. We have the numbers for radiology scheduling, and it's really straightforward. Okay, and now when it comes to those mammograms, I guess how crucial would I guess like early detection of breast cancer be versus waiting and pushing things off if you're noticing symptoms? Absolutely, so the sooner that a patient gets diagnosed and the smaller the cancer is, the much easier it is to treat. We can okay. still treat more advanced breast cancers. It's just a lot harder on the patient. There's usually more treatments involved and sometimes the course is longer. So certainly getting diagnosed early makes everything that much easier for someone going through it. Got it. And is there anything else that people should be aware of, whether it's treatment, prevention, things like that, that I guess we haven't discussed so far? Yeah, so we have a high risk breast cancer clinic at Community Hospital run through Grand Valley Oncology with one of our genetic counselors. So patients who have a family history of breast cancer can come see her, get genetic testing and get a personalized risk assessment of what their risk of breast cancer is. And then we can design an individualized high risk screening plan for them like MRIs, sometimes patients qualify for preventative surgery. So that's the biggest thing if patients are cons more concerned than the average person. Got it. Well, Dr. Fulton, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Of course, in Western Slope, if you do have questions about breast cancer treatment, prevention, things like that, you can go to yourcommunityhospital.com, but we're gonna go ahead and take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back.